in its own, that's one you normally pop right up. And there's a base hit on the line. Gary Sanchez. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Into the box now, Mike Ford. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. The 1-0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Torres, the runner at first with two gone. To first, Bell scoops it up. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch on its way. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. A count of one and one to the Pirates' first baseman. A good fastball that backed them off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. One and one. I got one ball, one strike. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. The 2-1 two home. Nope. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And the count will be full. Bottom of the second here with no score. Inside, he misses ball four. Stepping into the box, that Gregory Polanco. The left fielder, Gregory Polanco. First offering on its way. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping up now, Brian Reynolds. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. 
looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Count now a ball and a strike. One and one, here it comes. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this cut. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Miguel. Here's the first pitch to him. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Skied into straightaway right. Dyson is there, one away. Digging in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Third inning no score to this point. Hit hard but foul. Little late with the swing but he stays alive still two and two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Reynolds comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one, no strike. Two out, nobody on. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. The count is full. Three and two. Oh, that's well hit. Deep center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now. And now it'll be the catcher, Jacob Stallings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. And that's the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next is speedy Gerard Dyson. And now the third baseman sneaks into position to cover a potential drag bunt. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, 
Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. Count even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. In now, Kevin Newman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Cole's ready. Here comes the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. I always felt this was the toughest pitch for me to pick up. A good executed slider, and that's exactly what happened right there. You get an ugly swing. A 1-1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton, will begin things here against Jamison Tyone. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Outside, 3-0 now. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Nope. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now that Next will be the cleanup hitter, D.J. LeMayhew, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. From the stretch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses two and one now. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. The left fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Now back. Labor First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. A tag for one. Turn throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. Now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 the thus far. Gary Sanchez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Ball here, not close, and it's one and one now. One and one. Here it is. 
just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. And now before the one two time is called at home plate. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. Ready with the one two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Polanco to the track. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Now batting the first base into the box Mike Ford. Ford. Yes he'll take a look at ball one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a fastball for a called strike it's one and one. Pitch on the way. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes, Cap. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Now that's popped up. Just foul. Oh, man, that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes, and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing that again. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Adam Frazier. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Set to deliver the 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. And he misses two and one. Three one the count of the Pirates shortstop. Great A.B. up into this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four. So here's Trey Mancini. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One strike now from Cole. One and one. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. The 2-2. Two -two. Josh Bell is on deck. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Josh Bell the next to hit. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the belt, the pitch. Outside, that's the ball. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing. One and two. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, and couldn't keep his hands back. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. 
So we're under at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And it's 0-2 to Scope. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. He tried to climb the ladder right there, and I don't blame him. Now he's got those sights elevated. Don't be surprised with something off speed in the dirt. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Cole sets. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Here's Miguel Andujar now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. At the ball. Andujar takes the swings from the right handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. Frazier retreats to the outfield grass and he has it for round number one. Now back. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Aaron Hicks. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Dyson's there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Standing in, Aaron Judge. And that diamond rating on his card isn't just for show. It'd be tough to argue he's anything but one of the game's best players. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Polanco at the track, the wall, gone! Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now that and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one it was a walk in his last trip swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0 2 now Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging in to try it again, Gregory Polanco, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Wind up and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Sanchez is after it and he makes the throw to first. Polanco is retired and there's one away. Now in the box, Brian Reynolds. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 
just gets a piece of it strike one. No runs no hits and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one. Grounded up the first baseline but a foul ball one and two the count now. Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now. And this misses so that'll fill the count at three and two. Jacob Stallings waits on deck. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Standing in, Jacob Stallings. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. That's inside. 2-0. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Oh, and now what you want to be doing on 2-0. and Back to 2-1 and now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Fouled away. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Now batting Gerard Dyson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. On its way is pitch number 75. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Digging in and looking for more, DJ LeMayhew. He singled his last time up. Okay. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. The 1 0. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. At the plate, Brett Gardner. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Out in front of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Popped up. Scope has room in foul territory. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach, a foul ball. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. To one and two now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Bell brings it in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Two away now in the Yankees sixth. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Ooh. 
weak grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Two out, nobody on. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now the pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches. You're... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Well, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Man this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Sanchez finds it, but he's not going to have a play, and they'll allow him to reach first after the strikeout. To the party. And that'll no bring in Adam Frazier. Adam. It was a walk what? in his last trip. From the belt, kicks and deals. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gardner is there, and that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Trey Mancini now, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the now game. The first base Next base. to bat will be the Pittsburgh Josh. cleanup batter, Josh Bell. Bell. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take That's a look at ball 1, 1-0. One oh. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. It's a changeup offered at and missed. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. New inning set to get underway. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. And that last at bat, that was a pretty good off-speed pitch that was well down below the zone, which leads me to believe that this guy can hit it right off the shoe tops. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Rodriguez. A native of the Dominican Republic. He throws a four seam fastball, a slider, and a two seam fastball. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now at the plate, Mike Ford. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Two and oh. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? And it's fouled away.
too high that time, and it's three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. The batter, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Esteban Florio will come on now and pinch run here. Number 90, Esteban Florio. First pitch of the at bat. A ball of no strikes. Now the 1 0 is taken, strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Runner, yes, He's yes. running. Pitches a cold strike. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Here now the 2 2. What is this? Aaron Hicks is on deck. Three two pitch. Line hard. Foul. Another payoff pitch. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Aaron Hicks. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we join for the traditional seven-hit stretch. Next for the Buckos, Jonathan Scope. He went down on strikes last time up. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully, this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. First pitch on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jonathan Scope sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0 and 1. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push him, pull the throttle a little bit, throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. All even now, two and two. Now here it comes. 
Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. A center fielder. Digging in once again, Brian Reynolds. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls in one strike. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Still no balls and two strikes. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. First pitch of the at bat. Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. And he misses with it one and one. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And now before the one two time is called at home plate. And the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. In now is the Yankees' D.H. Giancarlo Stanton. A couple of walks for him thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One out. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. One and two. One ball, two strikes. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, DJ LeMayhew, will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Reynolds has it for out number three. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. One ball, no strikes to count. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. High in the air out towards shallow right. Judges under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Gerard Dyson. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted the other way out to left center. Gardner is there. Two down. Striding in, Kevin Newman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Ball 
set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Fouled off. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now another 0-2. He checks his swing. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Rusty Valentine. Ball one. Oh, and he takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. Settling in now, Torres. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Ball, that pitch was out. One out, nobody on. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. and He may be down 2-0 and after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rob, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Swing and a miss, strike two. And prior to the 2-2, two -two, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Reynolds is there, two gone. Now Digging in, Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, 0-1. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. A bouncer up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Now that third baseman, Miguel. In now, Miguel Andujar, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 
Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Liner toward right center. And a dive, but he comes up empty. And this is big trouble now out in right center. Boyd rounds third and is digging for the plate. The relay. And he is in there with an RBI triple. So now to the plate, Aaron Hicks. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Fastball called for strike two. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Men on third with two down. Line drive to center field. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's 7 0. Now back, right fielder, Aaron. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth and stepping up is the shortstop Adam Frazier. Shortstop Adam. First pitch coming here it is. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside it's 0 and 1. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. One and one the count now. The one and one pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Lined hard toward right center. In there for extra bases, and there goes the no-hitter. Around second, he's on his way to third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Now batter, the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Aroldis Chapman takes the mound here. Not a save situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Aroldis Chapman. Standing in now, Trey Mancini. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's 1 and 1. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Now, Count is one and two now. As a look, now the pitch. Runner at third here, nobody out. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Cover 55. So striding forward Josh. now, Josh Bell. He's batting yeah. cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. And no swing, apparently. Ball 1. Oh, and not a swing for the bubblegum card there. It's 1 and 1. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two.
And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. The third baseman, number eight. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. Yep, there's another heater right there. He is not going to deviate. He is going to pitch to his strengths. He doesn't care who's in the box. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. And he fouls this one off. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? A 7 0 shutout final score tonight. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Garrett Cole earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Pirates, no runs, just one hit, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three.